Good afternoon from NASA's Johnson Space Center and welcome to NASA's SpaceX Crew 4 Crew News Conference. We are joined here today by the four astronauts from Crew 4, NASA astronauts Chell Lindgren, Bob Hines, and Jessica Watkins, as well as European Space Agency astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti. NASA's SpaceX Crew 4 mission is set to launch aboard the Crew Dragon Freedom spacecraft on a Falcon 9 rocket to the International Space Station from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The commander of the Crew 4 mission is Chell Lindgren, and he is also commander of the Crew Dragon spacecraft. Chell is responsible for um, all phases of flight from launch to reentry, and this will be his second trip to space. Bob Hines is the pilot for the Crew Dragon spacecraft and second in command for the mission. He is responsible for the vehicle's uh, performance and systems, and this will be Bob's first trip to space. Jessica Watkins is a mission specialist for Crew 4. She will work closely with the commander and pilot to monitor the spacecraft systems during the dynamic phases of launch and reentry, and this will be Jessica's first trip to space. Samantha Christopher Reddy is also a mission specialist for Crew 4. She will work closely alongside Chell, Bob, and Jessica, and this will be Samantha's second trip to space. We will be taking uh, questions here in the room and on the phone, phone bridge and also through social media using the hashtag AskNASA. But before we get to questions, I would like to invite the Crew 4 commander, Chell Lindgren, to make an opening statement. Take it away, Chell. Thank you, Dylan. Um, well, first of all, thank you to everyone that's uh, here in the room today and uh, joining us online and on social media. Um, it's really exciting to have this opportunity to kind of formally talk about what we're going to accomplish um, on the space station during this upcoming mission. You know, I know that I speak for the entire crew when we say that we are incredibly excited um, about this opportunity. It is such a privilege uh, to get a, to be a part of this team, and uh, and we're really excited about. Uh, um, launching and getting to the space station to, to conduct our mission. Um, this is an awesome crew, and uh, so so excited to, to be a part of this <laughs> this crew with uh, Samantha, Farmer, and Wadi, and uh, and then also to have the opportunity. I think Samantha and I are really excited about getting to see uh, Farmer and Wadi uh, launch for the first time, and just to see how they adapt to uh, to being in weightlessness and to Sorry. to kind of yeah <laughs> to realize this uh, this life lifelong dream. Um, we're ex excited about launching. Uh, on, a, on a U.S. rocket from Kennedy Space Center. Uh, both Samantha and I had the opportunity to launch previously. And, and so to do this from Kennedy Space Center, to have family and friends join us in that experience is really a remarkable thing. Uh, and we're excited to get to orbit and to conduct this mission, um, to conduct the science and the research to improve life back here on Earth, uh, to conduct the operations to research to help us um, succeed in our mission to return to the moon and to go on to Mars and extend our presence in the solar system, to, uh, to do the maintenance and repairs uh, to ensure that we can uh, conduct safe operations on the space station, um, and really to serve uh, on a team that inspires the next generation for what is possible uh, to do when we work together as an international partnership. So we are really excited uh, to be at the end of our training flow and looking forward to our launch on, uh, on the 20th. Awesome, thank you, Chell. So we will go ahead and get started with questions here in the room on the phone and on social media. We'd love to take your questions um, on social media using the hashtag AskNASA. Um, just a reminder to those on the phone, if you would like to ask a question, please press star one on your phone or star two if your question has already been answered. Um, a reminder to folks who are asking questions to the crew, we ask that you keep it to one question for the time being so that we can make sure that we have enough time for everyone and time permitting, uh, we will circle back for some follow-ups. So let's go ahead with some questions in the room. We'll start with Mark Corot. Thank you, Mark Corot, for uh, Aviation Week and Space Technology. Um, could the appropriate ones talk about some of the spacewalk activity that's planned uh, or that you're prepared to do that could be, uh, you know, significant? Do you want to talk about sure. that? Yeah. Uh, so uh, as it tentatively stands, obviously with everything, uh, it's all subject to change. But as it stands right now, uh, we are slated for uh, two, uh, two U.S. EVAs. Uh, Samantha may get an opportunity to do a, a Russian EVA. Um, the U.S. EVAs are primarily focused on 
uh, continuing the uh, replacement or the modernization of the uh, solar array or the power system uh, for the space station, uh, what we call IROSA. And so our EVAs will be what we call IROSA prep, where we're installing um, these modification kits that uh, install brackets, which the actual IROSA solar panels will, go, uh, will be installed on, on future EVAs. All right, continuing the questions, um, let's go to Gina Sinceri from ABC News. Uh, Gina Sinceri, ABC News. Before we started, I noticed really, you guys seem to get along really well. So the, <laughs> the, the, the training, who wants to take this? How important is that camaraderie on a mission like this? Yeah, I can answer that. Um, it certainly is, is a big part of the kind of culmination of our training, especially. Our training kind of starts out, uh, we each kind of take on our training individually, um, where we kind of gain that foundation of skill sets on our own. And then towards the end of the, the, the flow, um, we start to come together and really get to practice those skills and apply them together um, in real scenarios. And so that has really been a joy for me and I think for all of us to really get to start to do some of that together, really get to know each other, spend some time together. Um, we even got to um, go out on a, um, a Knowles trip, so that's the National Outdoor Leadership School, um, and uh, do some sea kayaking out, um, out in um, Eastern Washington and just get to spend some time getting to know each other, understanding how we um, all function in an operational environment and, and what kind of makes each other tick. Um, and I think that's going to be really crucial on top of the, obviously, the operational side of, of what we do. Um, a big part of it is the teamwork and the uh, just the, the crew cohesion piece of being up on ISS. Yeah, I would say that's one of the most important things. You know, so NASA and our partners are really good about training us on the science on the maintenance and all the things that we need to accomplish. But uh, that, uh, that team spirit, uh, that crew cohesion, I think is one of the things that you can't really train. And so uh, we've had a lot of trips out to, to Hawthorne, California to train with SpaceX. And that's an opportunity when um, we, we have a chance to go out and have dinner together, uh, to train together, to bond. Uh, because that's what we carry into this mission. Uh, we get along uh, great. It is, uh, uh, just such a joy to, to be with these, to have these folks um, on this team um, and to be a part of this team. And then to join the team that we have on the space station. Um, we're really looking forward to seeing uh, Sergey and Oleg and, and Dennis. Um, we had a chance to train and work with them. And that's what makes us successful, is, uh, is the teamwork and partnership and, uh, and getting to work with a great group of folks, both on space station and also here on the ground. Thank you, Joe. Uh, we will go.